Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So after that, uh, not necessarily a disaster, the last mission, it was pretty it was pretty bad, I gotta say, the last episode. Um, we managed to, to mitigate some of that damage. I went through my my um, uh, inventory, sold a whole bunch of stuff, so we, we've got enough funds, we're fine. Um, and to refit the uh, the Zeus, or sorry, the Bushwhacker and the Grand Summoner, we should be okay, no problem. Now, if I go to the mech base real quick, We've got four mechs back now, so I think that's enough to take some of the missions that we have coming up. So we've got the Thunderbolt, Grand Summoner Prime, which is the ATM build, uh, the Archer, and the um, Hades. So we're going to go ahead and take a three and a half here. So let's go to the Command Center. Commander. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take leave a mark, destroy this base. Uh, it's against the local government, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's uh, negotiate. I'm going to go for full salvage, because we're going to need it. Get some a little bit of rep back with Jade Falcon. We lost a little bit of rep. So let's bring the Grand Summoner Prime and the Archer in. And the Summoner Prime is usually run by... Um, Duck, right? And Archer was Mastodon, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're going to go this route. Take this Lance down. Let's go have some fun. Okay, here we go. Just us. Beautiful. Oh, great. Uh, does that three lances? It sure is three lances. Because why wouldn't it be... Th <laughs> Freaking three to one odds again. You know what it is? Two episodes ago, it lulled me into a false sense of security. That easy mission versus Jade Falcon, and now it's like this is like payback. They're payback for against us. All right, let's hope for easy turrets. Yes, Commander. I'm wondering. Let me think about this for a second. Let's get over here. Get the AMS in here. thinking. we got all long-range mechs. I don't need to approach the same way I would normally approach. A ghost. I mean, if we stay way back... Like, rather than going up this way... Well, you know what? The turrets really can't get us if we go up this way. Let's just, uh... I'm going to reserve. That's the tricky thing, is it just got to figure out a good position to avoid direct fire from the turrets. If they're missile turrets, it's a different thing, right? Griffin. All right, if we're facing mediums, we'll be okay, I think. That's the Alarm 20 Griffin, is it? All right, see what we got. Oh, we got vehicles back here. Carriers, self-propelled artillery, that's not good. Ostrock, Ghost. All right, we're gonna take shots at this guy. Not great, just not great chances to hit, but we're gonna leave the barrage off. Ooh, the two big ones hit. He's got damage reduction somehow too. It's a possibility, but I think we're going to go after this guy. Okay, looks like we penned the legs there. I'm going to save the LRMs for the guys at the back. Bandit hovercraft. Okay, not so bad. Once we get up the hill, we'll use the barrages on those guys back there. As long as we're in indirect fire at this point, we're pretty good. Not that I mean, it's three lances, but I'm not that worried. We're all 
we're pretty much all heavy mechs here. What was that guy? Another bandit? Yeah, a pair of bandits, right? Okay, a, car a carrier, which looks like with th TBMs, probably? Self-propelled artillery. Thumper, maybe? Um, yeah, I got some, I got some orders, man. Ooh, that guy's direct fire. All right, we're going to multi. Let's rain some death. So this guy's sniper, this guy was thunderbolts. Wow. Oh, really good chance on B, huh? Let's go this route and fire. I copy. Eh. Well, not quite enough. Woke him up though, that's for sure. Preta, huh? Looks like he took a bit of damage too. Okay, these guys are all weak in condition. Now, just so you know, I didn't uh, increase the difficulty at all between the last episode and this episode. I think we're... I don't know, I'm still not 100% on whether or not what our difficulty really is at. If we're, if I feel good with it or not, I don't know yet. It's hard to tell, right? Because the difference between the clans and the types of missions, like the skull types of missions, it's like between inner sphere and clans is pretty huge. Heavy gossip and placement, that's got to go down. That's the one that we hit. What's this guy? Ballista artillery tank. Okay, what's this guy? Hunchback, 4N. All right. They're all in weakened condition, so it's not so bad. These front guys aren't, but it won't matter. Who's the other member of the front team, then? They're going to pay for that. Oh, I don't think I really want parts off you guys. Let's just fire on them. I just got a pulse laser. Better move. Oh, I'm going to shore up your defense, are you? All right. Not going to help you, but whatever. We got punishment teams work moving in really quick here. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Ooh, pulse laser, huh? Reporting minimal damage. Better be minimal. So there's got to be another full... No. Wait a minute. This guy's... Oh, that's the damage we did to him. Durr. The awestruck. There's got to be another full strength guy here somewhere. Good to go. Let's hopefully finish this guy up. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Nope. Okay, I don't sense anybody down here. Usually one of the plays is one of the guys comes down around this way. I don't see that right now. I'm going to move the Thunderbolt up into here, take on the Griffin. 
We'll move the archer down into this area and we're going to shoot at the two vehicles that we shot at last time. We picked up a blip, did we? I guess not. Uh, let's see the barrage off, but we'll shoot him with everything. Wow, that was terrible. That was terrible. That's the turret. Nothing new yet? Alright, this is a multi again. I guess it isn't because we can't see the other guy. So we'll drop all the shiz on this guy. Come on. Nope, a lot of internal structure. It's got no armor left though. Pretty much no armor left. Well, at least in the location we were shooting at, he's got no armor left. Okay, so let's pull the griffin down. Focus fire till he's gone. With the exception, yeah, with the exception of our artillery, which is going to focus on the carrier and the uh, ballista. Maybe just the carrier, because that guy's starting to get accurate. I think with the griffin gone, it won't be so bad. Nice to be able to sensor lock and fire at the same time. Maybe Duck can finish this guy up. Then I can f bring up the Hades and the Thunderbolt up here and start doing direct fire on these guys at range. That'll give us a lot of firepower. Yeah, can you uh, switch over to HE for me, please? I need this uh, this Griffin gone, if you don't mind. Yeah, looks good. Thanks. Tango down. That he certainly is. Okay, let's start making our way. Oh, that's going to overheat us, eh? I guess it's out of the flames. Alright, let's get our focus fire going here. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I don't have multi-target, unfortunately, although this is probably a good idea to target this guy. I'm going to use the tag barrage as... Well, maybe not. I'm going to... Well... Let's see, I can do 272 damage if I hit with everything. It's not going to be enough for the kill. But, if we switch this and attack the ground here, let's say right there, Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a good play. Commander? Can't multi-target, but we made up for it. There we go. Let's get up into here. Your job is the turret, please. Uh, we want to put the barrage on it, too. Probably, because it'll do a lot of damage. Let's warlord this. See if we can claim this turret. Okay, we did a lot of damage up there. Not quite enough to kill, but Mastodon might be able to follow that up. Now, can you get a shot in that turret? I think you can. 25, huh? We'll take it.
Beautiful. Target destroyed. You got that right. All right, let's get up the walkway here. Want to get away from being down below here. They get the height advantage on us. Okay, so the local government garrison had three mechs. Support Lance 1 had got two. So where is the third? Is it... Okay, it's the Griffin, the Ghost, and the Ostrock were all at full strength. That's the garrison. And the Support Lances are the ones with the weak armor. Okay. Gonna need more than that. You want to come out and play with the big boys. What's he up to? Sneaky little bandit. Huh. <laughs> She's just gonna leave your buddy out to <laughs> hang him out to dry. <laughs> Let's go for the attack. Okay, you move in and I'm going to go get reinforcements. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, someone's got a mortar. Or a pair of mortars. That's not bad. Or more than two mortars. Four of them, probably. Thunderbolts. Probably the turret here? Yeah. Thunderbolt emplacement. Okay, what's this guy here? Dual gun. What the fuck that is? Whatever it is, we're going to take care of it and this hunchback. 4N. Can't remember if that's the AC-10 back or what. That's the ghost. Let's get into here. I know this seems kind of weird right now, but trust me. Um, there's the ghost. I don't have a shot in the turret? Really? Winston, eh? I don't have a shot in the turret. Why don't I have a shot in the turret? Those guys are too close. That's a nice juicy target. All right, we're taking this guy out. I was going to shoot that du the dual turret, but this guy's going on 16. What do we got? 20 and 16. Oh shoot. Uh, All right, let's see if we can take him out. Not the ideal range. We want to be further away, but... Damn it. Good damage, but not enough. Critical hit, Commander. Now, is that turret damage? Yeah, turret and side damage. Ready for orders. Can we not drop missiles on that guy? Or are these just not in my arc is what it is. That's what it is. Alright, drop some missiles on this guy. Confirm. Turret hits? No. Damn. Didn't work like I didn't work out like I intended. But I got Phantom Mech on this guy up here. We got five five chevrons of evasion. From frontal attack. This guy's this guy won't be a won't be ap applicable to him. Yes, I was hoping to kill him before I'd, I got that close. Um, I'm going to ignore him for now. Wow, that's really bad, eh? 
going on with my chance to hit all of a sudden? I didn't change anything on this guy that would significantly alter the chance to hit. I'm not going to hit that side, I don't think. But I might do enough to the turret, maybe. I don't know. 28 on the Ostrock. Let's take it. Strip a little bit of armor off him. Thanks for showing up, buddy. He's not moving either. He's got balls, that guy. Where are they? Where are they going? Are they running? Is that what they're doing? Or yeah, he's the AC AC ten guy. Uh huh. I need more than that, buddy. Thank goodness for Phantom Mech. He says before he gets hit by two thermal barrack explosions. Uh, don't make me unstable, whatever you do. We're going to fire a maneuver on this turn. we got three of us going on 22. That's kind of a bonus. But somebody looks going before me. Who is it? Has the turn wrapped yet? Yeah, we're on 24. Who is it? This guy's 16. Is it the ghost, maybe? Yeah, it was. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can kill this guy. Engaging target. Not if we shoot off into space, we're not. Oh. We're for a Sweet Mark II destroyed. Ace pilot. I'm receiving you. Um. F him. All right. He's bugging me. Vehicle down. He was a bit of a jerk. All right, Doc, what do we got? It's bizarre. All the places... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, all the places I have, I've got a direct line of sight on that guy. Full speed, no target. And I can't target him. All right. Ooh, that's some pretty damn good chances to hit. We're taking it. Got to use standard ammo just because of the range. Yeah, I saw that. Guy's still running. I didn't sign up for this. This was supposed to be an easy job. Easy peasy, sneezy. Okay, who's going next? Mastodon's on 17. He's pretty damn slow, that guy. This guy's just sitting here. Pretty sure that was his turn. He just sat there. You think maybe he can't see us? That can't be the case. Stealth doesn't certainly doesn't work like it did in the last uh, version. That's for sure. That's a good side shot there. I can get a solid blue line from up here, and I think I would rather be in a position to be able to use the arrow system. So we're going to multi-target this guy. We're going to fire against you. And I'm dropping the uh, arrow over here, if we can. Yeah, we can. It's only 20%, but we're going to take it. Got it. There's a kill. Oh, shit, dude. Shooting at your feet again. He hit himself. That I, I gotta take. That's it, man. I'm taking that arrow away from you. 
you shoot yourself in the foot. You see 10 back moving in. Oh no, you know what? That could be the heavy rifle version. Heavy and medium rifle and a pair of LRM5s or something. Oh, stop. Damage minimal. He's running too. I mean, I can't say as I blame him. Alright, what do we got in this turret here? Definitely not an overheat, but we're going to fire it all. Engaging we're going to hit with it all. Beautiful. There we go. I copy. Can we multi please? You can't. So that's fine. Uh, we'll leave the ERs off. We're just going to fire. Oh, we can't. We have to leave more than that off. Actually, these two ATMs stay on. These two ATMs go off. Let's just fire these. Acknowledge. Nice. Turret destroyed. Thank you. Okay, Winston's next. Not, I'm not too really, not really worried about that periphery rifle uh, hunchback. It's not too much of a threat, I don't think. Yes, Commander. Can you get on that Winston for me, please? Oh, we got range on this guy. Heavy Thunderbolt emplacement. That's probably the better option. He's got two thermal bolts. Let's unload on him. And then we'll use our LRMs as well. That's a hit with everything. Now if we can get our LRMs within range, which I think we should have no problem doing. Where the fuck is that bandit going? Better not make me chase him down. Because I, I literally will destroy that base and leave him, let him live out here by himself. There's our direct line of sight. It's exactly what we need. I'm going to do this. Just in case we don't kill it and it decides to rain some missiles down on us. This should be enough though. Oh yeah. That turret is gone. Well thank you. Well thank you very much. So we got one turret left at the back here. And the buildings which are taggable which I think we'll take out with uh, the tag barrage plus the three mechs and the and the Winston and the uh, bandit who's trying to leave. Okay, I don't know if that's an ultra or just a pair of ACs. Probably AC twos. Okay, who's going on 26? The ghost, probably. Or the bandit? No, the ghost. Stealthy motherfucker! Um, let's take a victory here. Wow, really? Let's just shoot this guy in the back. 
Hope for a quick kill. Nope. Oh, she can't hit a goddamn thing, that's why. Yeah, we've cooled off a bit. Let's uh, give that Winston the what for. Okay, a couple of PPCs removed. Reporting. Enemy vehicle Support Lance 2 gone. Alright, I think we're in good dead fire range now. I think so. Am I? It's actually not bad. I'm gonna turn these off though. We're still in overheat, huh? We'll leave one of them off then. And uh, fire the rest. See ya. I, hope we can salvage that. I, I don't really care. He's still running. What do you think, Dallas? I think we can show that guy what we do what we do to runners. Oh man, really? Well, yeah, let's let's warlord it. And see if we can get a better chance to hit on him. Not much, but we'll fire. Kind of a waste of a warlord, but I thought we might get lucky on it. I saw that. See if they'll turn and fight. Probably not. So they've got three guys left. And the one turret. We're going to demo the base here in a second. I've got my barrage left, so we're going to put that right in the center of the base. Oh, those are EC2s. I don't know if it's a Rack 2 or Ultra 2s. Could be a Rack, though, because he's firing a lot of them. Or three Ultra 2s or something. Heavy quad gun. Oh, so maybe like four AC2s or something? Come on. There we go. Should I kill that turret? Probably, huh? Or do I have a better chance to kill this guy? No, he's pretty much covered that guy. Let's get rid of this quad gun. It seems to be landing a lot of shots on us. Okay, no armor left. Dallas, same thing please. Got the guy up in the hill over there. I don't know if you saw him. There's a sniper. She got him. Reporting critical hit. Just making sure he doesn't shoot at us. Okay. I gotta decide now. You can't multi, but you can target this guy with these. So let's get rid of him if we can. Now some of those are doing 10 damage. I'm not sure why that is. They're all standard missiles, so I don't know. Launchers are all the same. Hey, ghost. Uh, yeah, no, this uh, this ghost here. This ghost wants some dead fire love. He was telling me how much he he uh, was feeling jealous that you used the dead fire on the uh, hunchback, so he wants some of his own.
Well, see ya. That's what happens when you try and run. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Uh oh. Oh, my heat kit took damage. Damn it. Ghost is trying to run now. Come on. Oh, I can't multi-target him. He's stealth. That's fine. Good shooting, though. The three largest hit. Anyway, that's the most important thing. I right, just back up over here. Receiving you. On the move. What do you say we give this guy some ATM love? ATM love. Can we use these two? Sure can. Kill confirmed, Commander. Wow. Not sure why we're doing 25% more damage. Uh, where did that bandit go? I kind of want to kill him, but... I don't see him. Beautiful. Whoever goes first, oh, it's me. Gonna take that base out. This is that bandit hovercraft going first. No, he's going on 15, so he's going now. Then it's one more phase. He's up here somewhere. Left the base to be destroyed. Okay. Let's see if we can get it in one shot. Here it comes. Yeah! There it is, folks. <laughs> Alright, contract payment increased by 35%. At least we made C-bills on this one. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, the Hades took a uh, CT hit. The heat sinking. Uh, okay, so... I'd like to get some stuff for C-bills here. Don't know... Okay, we've got like four of these. We've got three in inventory and one in one of our mechs. So let's look for AMS ammo, because that's one thing we're missing big time. Oh, AMS double ammo. It's beautiful. We'll take that. Don't have to waste it. Rack five double. Going to take that. Um, spa liner. That's a possibility. Tracker sensor. Actually, you know what? Let's throw that in there for now. Cause we, we've got one on the Hades. Um, hmm. Doesn't look like... Oh, blue shield field particle damp there? Minus one accuracy when active, but plus 30% resistance versus energy-based attacks. Plus nine heat per turn when active. Possibility. Ultra 2, Thunderbolt, Snipers. What the hell? Light PPC plus TL cap? Really? Twin link capacitor. Improves weapon stats. Grants double rate of fire for or accuracy incompatible to PPC capacitor. Flat 12% jam tans indicated by gunnery. Stacking. So it fires twice at 30 damage each for 46 heat at 460 meters. Which isn't bad because if you figure a clan ER well, now if you're looking at tonnage too, right? Clan ER medium would be a pair of them would be two tons at 42 heat. 
a lot less stability no jamming but 30 damage though five tons zero recoil one evasion pip ignored 12% flat jam chance though that's like mitigating by gunnery so someone with a high gunnery HVAC 5 hyper velocity auto cannon 10% chance of misfiring 50% crit 8 tons 45 damage is there any HVAC ammo down here? Did we see any? I didn't see any. There isn't any. Okay. Well, that's useless without that. Warfare Sweep Mark II. ECCM. UAV. That was on the ghost, wasn't it? I almost want to take two ghost pieces because I think we might have... I know I said I wasn't going to take them, but I think we might have another piece of a ghost kicking around. Or two pieces of an Ostrox. I think we got an Ostrox kick... I don't know. I mean, there's lots of cool stuff down here, but... I don't know. Like, am I going to use... Like, I didn't use this last time. I'm not even... Like, we, I've got so many pieces of gear that I'm not activating. I, I like the flat-out bonuses. Like, the chance of failure is always, like... It's... I don't know. I don't, so, I don't like the risk, right? Especially when you, it's, like, on an all-or-nothing battle. The last thing you need is for your weapons to fail. Or something else to fail, you know? So I think what I'm going to... I'm going to take two... I'm going to take two pieces of an Ostrocht. and see if we can complete one of these and sell it. I know I said I wasn't going to take mech parts, but... Oh, MML5, MML15 risk, four and a half tons. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did I miss that the first time through? 33 heat. I'm going to take these two. Because I'm thinking about doing an MML build, right? The ATM builds nice and so is an MMM, MMM, MML build because it gives you such a variety of ammunitions to choose from. So I'm going to take these two and hold on to them and see what happens. Now this is worth how much? Three and a half million. Oh god, really? <laughs> I don't think I need the Rack 5 double ammo. I got enough rack 5 ammo. I mean, I, I know it holds more, but for the same weight. We definitely need the AMS ammo, that's for sure. Because if we want AMSs we, we, like, to be used, the Mark IIs, I, I, I need this because we just don't have enough ammo. I've only got half a ton left. Spa liner, I don't really have an immediate use for it. I don't know where I would put it. Like, the only mech you could put it on, really, that I have space for... That I don't need the ferrofibrous or whatever would be the Zeus, but then I'm getting better damage reduction from that already. Although it does open up the ability to use it on something in the future when space is limited. Um, we've got what two of these left, right? We don't have any left. This is three tons, right? Five tons. Holy shit. I don't have a dedicated mech for that. Uh, it's the kind of thing you would put up, want to put on a mech that was like going to be in close the whole time and would be using that. I don't know, guys. You 
You know what? I'm just going to throw a ghost part in. I don't know. I know you're all sitting there saying, Decide already! I'm going to put that in. All right. Hunchback Griffin. Got an ACF 5 part. Oh, we got the uh, this thing. Ah, three Thunderbolt 5s, which we can sell. Light Engine, we can sell. 215 Core, we can sell. C3 Slave, another one of them. We got a Martin. We got, we got like what? Three of these now? LRM Tandem Ammo. Okay. All right, so not bad overall. I mean, we got some stuff to sell. Uh, 124,000, really. 10 days for the repairs. Uh, let's leave these guys the way they are. No, this way. It'll be six days for repairs. So let's get this, let's get them done in six days. I might be able to take another really quick mission here. Three, four, five. You for? Yes. One more day. There we go. So, uh, in engineering real quick, I got the high capacity conduits up and running. Now, we got our drop tonnage maxed out. I don't know how to get an extra mech. The only thing I can think of is increasing the structure. Maybe we need the uh, the last pod here, the gamma pod. I don't know. Um, let's go this route. I'm going to max out our structure. I like the fact that this structure here uh, reduces the uh, stored inventory by items, the cost of it by 5%, which we're going to need because most of our cost here is like stored stuff, I think. All right, let's just have a quick look at the command center, see if there's anything else quick we can take today. Price of freedom. There's an assassinate. Would take too long, probably. Battle. Pirate mechs. Beautiful. Let's just go in and kill these guys real quick. Oh, wait, we got to fix the low, the uh, Hades, sorry. I forgot that we took the damage to the engine. Let's have a quick fix here. Got to be careful with this thing overheating. I try to do my best to make sure it doesn't overheat, but on Hot Planet, see? Protect Double Heatsink Kit can take damage, right, if it over, it's over overheating. It's easy to fix, but it's just an issue. It's only happened a couple times, so it's not so bad. I'll let you know when that's done. All right, let's get the Hades up. And... Let's go... Uh, yeah, that way. Beautiful. Let's do this. Now we can go. All right, secure the borders against those pirates. Pirates really don't like us, but that's just fine. Gonna go with the same group. Let's deploy and get it done. Command yeah, good. Well, at least we got some supporters here. All right, let's go do this. Do I like this map? No. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get you up here for now. Not a good map for just engaging at range. Which is really what our lance is designed to do. This is kind of technically the fire support lance now that I think about it. All right. Got reserve. Oh, we saw somebody and then they vanished. They're right there. Oh, we got sensors on now. What do we got? 
Catapult 65 tonner. Griffin. They're full armor, right? I can't tell. 3M. I have no idea what the 3M is. C1. That looks like the might be the PPC version, but I could be wrong. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, that's fine. We needed extra guys anyway. I'm going to use the barrage on this guy because I can. Okay, we missed, but we got some heat on him anyway, which is okay. Hopefully it will deter him from firing. What do we got back here? Is this another carrier? Rottweiler. Grr. Grr, grr, grr. I'm going to try and get rid of this guy first if I can. Roughneck. Life and Crimes of a Roughneck. If you guys know your techno songs. I think it was Asen. Life and Crimes of a Roughneck. I believe so. Come on. Talos. Alright. This guy's what? Javelin? Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad competition. Still gonna fire, huh? I don't blame you, I would too. Consider yourself lucky you don't have incendiary ammo. We had the bushwhacker here, you'd be in a little bit of trouble. But then again, if you're only firing missiles, yeah, you got your heat gone. Okay, I think we should take care of him first. So we're going to move the Archer up and the uh, Grand Summoner up to, to smoke that guy. Ooh, what was that? That was like a sound dropout. What the hell? That wasn't me, guys. There's a game just decided like, eh. I'm just going to pause here for a second. Alright, let's see if we can remove this guy. I want this side, so leave the tag off. But hammer him with everything else. Actually, how's our dead fire looking here? 31%? No, we'll leave it this way. He's stressed. <laughs> really? He's like, fuck, that's a lot of missiles. Yeah, we gotta bring that we gotta bring forward the other archer, but we really need to get our uh, other stuff back up and running. Ah, that's ATM HE range. Beautiful. How about a face full of this? Reporting critical hit. Panicked. <laughs> I just want to go home. Come on, knock him over. Bail it. Make him bail out. Is he going down? Yep. Come on, bail out, buddy. Bail out. I want you gone this turn. Nope. Not today. Alright, who's the speedy guy here? The roughneck? Probably. Probably the roughneck, I'm guessing. Could be the javelin, though. Enemy detected. Nope, somebody's shooting something big, though. Who was that? Yep, see ya. Somebody's got an AMS though. Maybe this guy? Oh, it's another roughneck. Who's got the AMS? Three, four, five, six. There's one more guy back here somewhere. Maybe he's down in here. Alright. We got direct line of sight on anybody? We don't. How can we rectify that? By doing this, probably. Life and crimes of a roughneck. I'm gonna fire the barrage as well. All weapons committed. 
Enjoy the heat. I don't think it's a chemical fire though, so I think they can kind of like run through it and only be effective briefly. Unlike those thermobaric explosions we took last turn, or last, not last game, last episode I guess, Proceed. last something or other, where they were, uh, if you run through them they stick to you, the chemical fire sticks to you, right? Alright, let's get in here. Hey, I said let's get in here. Oh, I right clicked. Because idiot. Alright, firing. firing all weapons. So I'm thinking we're just going to focus on getting, um, I know I said this already, focus on getting clan mechs. It certainly cuts down on the, on the uh, rebuild time and the cost. Although it does it does limit us with the uh, in terms of weaponry and stuff because we got a fixed core. But if we get the right ones, we should be fine. Hmm. Let's get this crap a pult. Uh, I'm gonna warlord it. Give us a better chance to hit and fire. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I wonder if there's a the bandit from the last uh, last mission we took. Come on. Computer's getting a little sluggish. I'm finding Rogue Tech, if I play a few games in a row, really grind, starts to grind to a halt. There, I don't know if there's a memory leak somewhere or what it is. I mean, I got tons of RAM on my computer, tons of VRAM and stuff, but it just, at a certain point, it just it like says, ah, you know, I've kind of had enough for today. Okay, we're gonna get in the woods here. Throw the tag on. I'm gonna go to this guy. And fire. Okay, that's a nice bit of spread damage there. I think I like the reduced damage on the weapons overall. At first I wasn't really big with it. Um, but, you know, after that, uh, the episode um, where we were taking tons of missile hits, it, I don't know, it just kind of makes it feel better. Like you can, the battle just lasts longer, right? You know what I mean? You're not just, you're not, you're not just uh, smoking people left, right, and center. The spread out splash damage makes a lot more sense, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. For missiles and, you know, uh, the uh, arrow systems, the um, thunderbolt systems, the mortars, things like that. It ma makes it interesting, you know? All right, we can't see the can if we move there. I want a nice red line on this guy. There we go. Uh, let's just fire it. Engaging target. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I'm taking some serious hits. Yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I think I shot her in the back with one of my heavy improved lasers. Oh, I got her arm. Yeah, that's my bad. Waiting for orders. Same thing on this guy, please. A little bit of HE love. One less target. Life and crimes of a dead roughneck. Let's move over here. We'll 
Okay, not bad. I think if we can go before that catapult, we might be able to knock its ass over. Uh, maybe not. We've only got the... Uh, it's not unstable right now. We've only got the archer left, so probably not. I think he just went too, didn't he? No, he's still there. Yes, Commander. Oh, no, we got Lulu Dallas multipass still too. I should OP this guy, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to fire straight out. Okay, we're penetrating some armor here. Is it unstable? Not unstable. We're not going to get much stability damage with this guy, but... Yeah, I think I really got to reanalyze the... Oh, we might get become unstable here. Want we'll a better chance to hit more than anything. Um, with all the lasers on that Thunderbolt, I don't... It's not still... It's not the perfect loadout yet. I almost want to make it a close in mech. Like with uh, three laser points, two missile points on the uh, one torso. We could put the turret mount in there. I think that was uh, um, recommended by Fists of Dorn. It would be a good spot to put a turret mount in. And then a couple more laser weapons in the arm with a weapon mount. Um, and it could be a really deadly close in mech. Enemy sensor lock detected. But the way I'm seeing this ATM-6 loadout at range, the thing is dead. Like I, I'd like to be able to use those SRM sixes that we picked up, that have um, the do ten damage at pop. But the way that I'm seeing the ATMs play out, I, I can't justify using the SRM sixes. I just can't do it. The ATMs are got a better range. Um, they've got uh, more functionality because I mean you can just use um, the different types of ammo, right? These guys are running. This is a back shot. I don't think we got the juice for it. Take him down in one shot here. However, this guy is saying, hey, give me a face full of love. They're going to switch to dead fire. Look at that. You know what I mean? So, like, you, you figure an SRM-6, you've got a range of, like, what, 330 meters, which you can crank up to about 360 or so with the pilot at plus 10%, you know, uh, increased range, which really isn't all that much. A 10 damage a pop, and if you load in dead fire, you're doing 15 damage per missile, which can be a lot for three tons, but you've got to be close, right? Because even at 360 meters, you're still at extreme range. You're at long range, right? So, with the ATMs, like, I mean, we're getting good chances to hit with the ATMs, and we don't even need to be really close. The hardened Pharaoh re re repaired the armor, eh? Like, the range of the ATM is incredible, right? And at close range, doing 12 damage a pop with the missiles. I mean, this guy's, you know, fortified here, but... 12 damage a pop with the HE missiles. Let's see how you like this. That hit something good. Oh, he's got a mind dispenser. This guy took a lot of damage, but he's like still... He's got a lot of armor. Oh, this is the Talos. Oh, I thought this was the other roughneck. That's why. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna move to a better position. I think. This should give me a good chance to hit here. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna target him specific. I'm just gonna hit him. Maybe open something up here. Was that a head hit? Okay, let's see what we got here. Nice solid red line, we'll take it. Same guy. Wow. Affirmative. 
What was the difference between the two mechs? Why is it so bad for her and not for me? I know I've got a better targeting computer, but it's only three. At this range, it's like plus two or plus three accuracy. Not much. Not that much. Huh. Don't know. What's this guy back here? Ebola. An Ebola. So they got six guys. That was the other guy that we, we didn't see is Ebola. Okay. That's all right. We're going to push this guy with the archer, I think. Hey! Oh, that's our guy. Durr. <laughs> I thought, where the hell did that mech come from? <laughs> He's on our side. Come on, Bandito. Do something. Make him unstable. I need to give him a face full of love. All right, he needs a face full of love, buddy. Dead fire should be even better from this range. 72, marginally better. Taking it. Nice. Got past his arm. Head hit, pilot injury, beautiful. Hardened feral fibers destroyed. He's unstable, so most likely he'll move this turn. Or he'll just fortify himself, one or the other. If it was me, I'd just step behind here. But, you know, it ain't me, so... Alright, got a bit of that anyway. You're not under that heavy fire. Okay. Um. Wow. Wish I could target his head. Come on, bail out. Oh, he's panicking. If I move, I'm going to get caught up in a firestorm. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Same thing with Dallas. If she moves, she's going to get caught in a firestorm here. But she's got to move. Oh, you can jump, though. Uh, we got a solid red here anywhere? Over here we do. Beautiful. Anything for a solid red. Let's use the barrage as well. Come on, hit with the barrage. Ah. Oh, he bailed out. Beautiful. Chicken. I shouldn't talk. My guy's bailed too once. Let's push him. This bola wants to move forward and fight. Let's give him a fight. Yeah, it'd be nice if we can get ATM 9s on this thing, but the weight is just so much more. It's four and a half tons for the sixes. Is it four and a half for the sixes or three and a half? Three and a half for the sixes, I think, and the nines are five or six or seven tons. They're, they're weighty. The ATMs are definitely weighty. Ooh, you cheeky monkey. We're going to play that game, are you? All right. I got a bandit on my side. He's going to come and help me out here. What are you doing? You going to steal my kill? 
Is that what you're doing? Don't shoot the javelin. Okay. You shoot the javelin. You shoot him between my legs is what he's doing. Little shit. Yeah, see, misfires, man. I, I don't know. See, we, we had the great plasma cannon, and we lost it because of stupid... I mean, I wasn't watching, but, you know, it, it takes damage when it misfires, right? So, unless you've got, like, extras, it's not worth it. I don't know. I don't know. Is that dead fire range? Very rare that we get the chance to use our dead fire this much, so we're going to take it and use it. <laughs> it was an archer versus catapult battle. Now you know who's better. <laughs> Ow. Can understand why they run. They're starting to run. I don't think this w battle would have been any different if we didn't have this, this support lance with us. I mean, it's obviously nice having them as a backup, but in this particular case, they—I mean, they—they've done a little bit, but not a whole lot. All right, we're gonna put the barrage on just in case we get close to them. Or we could just slide it at our feet. That's that that works great too. <laughs> Sorry, that's all me, buddy. <laughs> that's all me. <laughs> He's still running. You think Dallas can you shoot him from behind? Oh yeah. Interested to see what the chances to hit at this range are, though. That's, uh, you know, it's pretty damn good for that range, if you think about it. I mean, it's a good thing we have the clan ER lasers. Alright, so we're going to swoop around behind this javelin and finish him up. Give him a little ATM love. The Mastodon will pl plow that guy. Oh, ow. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah. Good to go. Let's give this guy some heavy hits. Can't get behind you now. Wanna well, play that game? We can play that game. Target eliminated. Think I can play it a little better than you can. Oh, it looks like something hyper goss. Ready for orders. Yeah. Let's get over here. It's a little warm, I know. All right, uh, let's switch this around. Turn these guys off. We're way in overheat, eh? Ah, it's just fire one. Ah, a couple penetrated. What the hell are you shooting? Come on, finish him up. If not you, certainly it'll be me next turn. Okay, there's the line. I was wondering there for a second if this guy was beyond the line, but he's not, so. Ow. Ow. Stop shooting me!
Okay, let's move so that guy over there can't see us. The roughneck. Let's kill this guy. Or almost kill him. That hit something good. Yeah, if he didn't have AMS, he'd be dead. You can kill him though, right? Come on. There you go. Just required a little bit of extra loving. I gotta get through here. I'm gonna push these guys. Wow, look at the heat. We're gonna fire everything. Goes an arm. Torso, there goes the mech. One left. One left. Oh wait, you're not gonna shoot him now? Can you see him? Wait, wait, I know we could see him. We had a line there a second ago. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Got the range on him. Firing. Beautiful. There it is, folks. A little longer than expected, but we got her done. All right, let's claim the salvage and get out of here. All right, here we go. 286,000. Definitely going to take a fair bit of damage. I don't know if it's going to be that much, but pretty close. My mouse actually acting acting up again here. Come on. All right, let's see what we got here. Talos is only 50 tons, huh? Seems like a lot more. Um. Okay, I'm going to throw the C1 part. I know we said we weren't going to take any. Although I could take the risk. Roughneck. AMS flare, quantity times two. ERPPC, heavy MMRs, light PPC, light rotary auto cannons. Zero tons? How is that even possible? How is it zero tons? Uh, no heat and no tons. Now, I, I don't even know what to say to that. I don't, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that ultra light rotary rifle what the hell is this stuff um okay well I'm gonna take those two because damn now do we need a specific my question is do we need specific ammo for those rack two ammo what ammo does it take Doesn't say. Fifty minimum weight required. Currently not working. Eighty armor to its carrying hand. Handheld weapon has a hundred and twenty shots that can explode. What? Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna leave these out because I don't. I don't want to take the chance. Um, it might be nice, but I, like I said, light rotary rifle. Eh. I don't want to take the chance on those. Prototype double heat sink and a radical prototype double heat sink kit. Now we've got one of these, I think, don't we? No, we don't. I'm going to grab both of those. Because we may be able to fit those into a build somewhere. Hyper Goss ammo. Okay, rack two. Nothing else down here that I really want. So I'm going to take... We're going to go up. Uh, rotary AC2 wrist. Now we do have rotary two ammo. But it's a rotary two, right? Let's take two roughneck parts. I think we've got a piece of a roughneck somewhere. 
We're going to take those and see if we can assemble it and sell it. Let's just confirm this. Oh, we got oh we got two roughneck parts and a javelin part. Okay, we got one of these light rotaries. I don't know what we'll do with it, but two cores we can sell. We got another one of these already, eh? All right, all right, guys. Eighty-seven thousand. All right. So between episodes, I'm going to get the mechs and everything fixed up. Maybe real allocate some weaponry and stuff. See if there's any mechs we can assemble and sell. Um, get some sea bills. Most likely jump planets. I'm going to look for a four and a half skull planet. I think that's probably our sweet spot. Five skull. I don't know. I think we're out of range for that right now. But we're going to definitely be picking and choosing our missions. So I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.